Hey, what's going on, everybody? Uh, JSL five three four here, or Game Maker two point zero. Uh, back with another tutorial, and this tutorial is how to load in three D models like this police car, like the AK forty seven, which I just picked up. Uh, like this little turret here, and you know, like this guy. And you can really load in any model like these, and they work really well. Uh, so. We're gonna show you how to do that. You're gonna want to make in the create events right here, and I'll put all the code in the description. You're gonna put global dot model, and then you're gonna put the name of your model. It doesn't really matter what you put here, and then you're gonna do d3d model create d3d model load, and now you're gonna load the model from the same folder. I'm gonna show you how to set up a folder so that it works well. And then you're going to go put the same thing that's up here, right here. And then put the actual name of your model. If it's a .obj, you put .obj. If it's D3D, you put D3D. And D3D is Game Maker's preferred form, and it can load in colors and textures in that form, which is nice. Uh, so yeah, and then in, under the draw event, you're just going to do set the color to white, and you're going to draw the model. Uh, using the same variables in create event and just doing this. So really, there's very few neat things you need to change about this code. It's not very complicated. The complicated part comes. Uh, so if you tried this and your game was in just a normal uh, game maker file, it wouldn't work. So I have a folder, and you need a folder like this, and you put your game in it, and then you put all of your models in there and they have to be in the exact same folder you know you can have it if you really want you can have it locate all your files from different places but I find that that doesn't work as well it's just better to have them all in the folder all your textures all your obj's and d3d's now game maker will take obj's and d3d's but if you change d3d into obj you'll be able to uh, have full color whereas if you just import a obj you just get the uh, white or gray color and I mean you can texture it if you've got the texture so it's not a huge deal but if you wanted to change it into a d3d because if you color it in blender if you colored it in uh, Google SketchUp so I'm just going to show you that here uh, so I'm going to leave uh, the program is called GM Model Fix, and I'm going to leave the link for it in the description. You can download it off yoyogames.com. Uh, safe download, all that stuff. And this, you're just going to go into File, Load in your OBJ. And let's see if I can find it. I don't know why it's under Pictures. Someone set it there, I guess. But. Let's find GM. And uh, we're just going to find the basic OBJ. Let's just do this one. All right, now you can see he's down there. He's really small. So let's say, okay, if we don't want him that small. Let's make him bigger. So we're going to click this and we're just going to do not move. We want this scale model. And you're just going to do A, which is all of them, plus. And as you can see, there he is now. You can see him better. Now he's not quite centered, so let's move him till he is centered. That looks good. This program will not show up with all of his colors, although it is there. You could load in the texture if you wanted. Uh, in my opinion, it's not worth it. So you're going to go into uh, save. And then to save it as this guy, save, and then you're gonna hit yes, and you want GM8, yes, and now it's gonna, it's saved as a D3D, wherever you put it, and then you can take that D3D, change the name, put that name into the code, and you will get this guy right here. Now he's a little bit too tall. I mean, a little tall, but anyway. 
I think this is probably the best way. I mean, you know, these things look really nice. All the textures, everything that loaded in. AK-47, yeah, yeah. Turret gun, absolutely. But you can't use any of it yet just because this was for example. Okay, please comment if you have any questions at all about anything. doesn't have to be about this tutorial, about 2D game making, anything. I will answer it. If you enjoyed this video, uh, please make sure to subscribe. And I will come up with more videos. Anything you guys comment or ask me about, I will be sure to answer. Uh, like this video if you liked it, and I'll see you later.